on the line to counterpunch. You know, uh, if we look at uh, Shakur Stevenson, he's pretty good at popping in there, boom, and counterpunching. Trying to get your offense up. Oh, that's a good left. Zach. Yeah. All right, I saw you uh, teaching some of them little young guys. What was you teaching? Oh man, today I, I was teaching them defense. You know, boxing. Us boxers, we don't want to get hit. <laughs> you know, we don't want to get hit. So I, I was teaching them defense. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what, what, what was you teaching? Yeah, so um, in boxing, there's three types of defense. Um, the first type of defense is the most basic one we can do as boxers. And that's footwork. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. All right, well, can you like give us a, maybe an example or? Yes, sir, I can. So, like I said, the first defense, the most basic one is footwork. So footwork, you know, we're trying to get off the line. You know, uh, off the, when I mean off the line, is the distance of where an opponent can hit you, you know, can actually touch you. So that's the distance where the opponent can hit you, all right? So footwork, you know, the pros of footwork is I can get off the line the safest way. You know, all I have to do is just step back. If an opponent is right here and he jabbed me, I can just step back. You know, me, I can be more explosive, you know, where and pop back, you know, I can pop back. But yeah, that's the most safest way I can get off the line. Right, right, right. Yeah, explosive move. You get what kind of step, like an anchor step? What, what? Yeah, yeah. It can be just a regular step. Mm -hmm. It can be kind of a, you know, pop back. Uh, if you like kind of popping back, you can use a front foot. If you kind of be more front foot dominant, front foot to push, push back. Okay. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of different steps with it. What's, what's the biggest disadvantage of footwork? And the biggest disadvantage of footwork is, you know, you're getting off the line. And you are getting off the line, but it's pretty hard to get back on the line and counter punch. You know, it's pretty hard to counter punch off footwork because like a lot of people don't have a good footwork to get back on the line to counter punch. You know, uh, if we look at uh, Shakur Stevenson, he's pretty good at popping in there, boom, and counter punching. Trying to get your offense up. Oh, that's a good left so they can see the punches coming. Look at Shakur Stevenson stepping back, straight left hand, boom. Right there that I'm talking about. Secure Stevenson is expert in timing. Yeah. That, that takes great timing to do something like that. I got you. I got you. Well, what's the second type? So the second type of defense is uh, it's not as basic as footwork, but it's the second most basic one. That's as blocking. It's blocking. So blocking, blocking is not it's not as safe as uh, as um, footwork because blocking you're still on the line to get hit. You know, but one thing that one thing that's good with blocking is you can block and you can come back with something. You're on the line to come back to counter punch. You know, it's really good to counter punch. Like if you block a jab, you can block a jab right here with your backhand. Block a jab, throw the jab. You block a right hand, you know, here. Block the right hand, you can throw the right hand. You block a hook, block a hook, throw the hook. You know, you're on the line to counter punch. That's really good, really good. All right, so that's number two. And so, what's the you say the advantages of what's the advantage of blocking? So the, the advantage of blocking is you're on the line to to counter punch. You know, it's really good to counter punch. It's really good. You know, you can counter punch because you're on the line. What's the disadvantage of it? Uh, what if you blocking Deontay Wilder? Yeah, the disadvantages of blocking is you're still taking force. You, know, you see what I'm saying? You're still taking force, you know, a big, strong, heavy guy, he punching at you, boom, boom, he's taking that force. You know, you still taking that force. And it can't can't hurt. Look at Deontay Wilder versus Severn. Stiff jab by Wilder now, thus far Severn hasn't yeah. shown the work rate. He's oh hitting my. and Severn! 30. <laughs> Seven knockouts have occurred here in the round. First round. Severn blocked his punch. And he still got knocked out. It's crazy. Yeah, that was that was nuts. That, crazy. that was nuts. All right, so that's two types. What's the third type of defense? The third type of defense is the most advanced. It's head movement. You know, head movement here, here. You know, you can. A lot of boxes say bob and weave. You know, we say slip, slip and roll. You know, it's head movement. Yeah. 
Got you. Got you. So, what's up with hair movement? So hair movement, you know, the advantage is the hair movement, you know, you're, you're on the line to counterpunch. You know, it's really good to counterpunch. You're on the line, you know, you can come back uh, wherever they're at, you know, if they're far, then you can come back with, with really good uh, bone punches or if they're closer, closer to you, you can come back with really good short punches. You know, it's really good right there. But the disadvantages of, of hair movement is like, you're on the line to get hit. You know, it's very risky. It's okay. Very risky. So, head movement is the most advanced defense, but it's the most riskiest as well. Yes, sir. So the safest, what's the safest defense? The safest one is definitely footwork. All right. Footwork. Got you. And head movement is the, is the riskiest, riskiest one. one. I got you. I got you. Sounds good. Sounds good.